Long overdue, uh, at least with the national press. Mm -hmm. I, I assume and I hope that she's doing her, uh, her due diligence and talking with the local press. I mean, as a local reporter myself, I sort of appreciate that. She should be talking with every last columnist and major reporter and editor in New Hampshire, in Iowa, in the early states. Um, it, it was a, a little jarring to see some of these photos of her, like literally with ropes, keeping her away from the press. It doesn't make any sense. It's not going to get her anywhere. Um, on the other hand, she's going to have to take some of what she learns at the local level. Presumably she's learning about local issues and trying to think through some policies that she wants to run mm -hmm. on nationally and then start a national conversation. She can't, you, you can't put out an ad as she did when she announced her candidacy and say, I want to have a national conversation and then and slam then the door on, on everybody who wants to talk. Last point on this, they're using the same rationale that Errol did the other way in her camp, which is doesn't do anything for her to do the interviews. It's not going to help build her any. Why, why do it until you, you have you to? You can't run for the ultimate national office without doing national interviews. She's been doing Full it. Full stop. No, but, but she has been doing it. We talk about her all the time and she's not talking back. Yeah, th that's fine. But ultimately, if you actually care, and also they're obviously feeling some erosion of support on the left, mm. they're trying to counteract. But you cannot be at perpetual war with the press and still run for president. You actually need to use, deal with the media and the national media if you're running for the national office. John Errol?